Mets with an off day today following a good 5-1 and one homestand. They're the hottest team in baseball. They've won 10 of their last 13. They are it's all coming up uh, perfect for the Mets now. After a 1-5 and five homestand to start the season, they had that big home run by Alonzo, which I told you was huge, and that was the jumping point for this run that they're on now. They are 10 and eight is their overall record. They're in third place. If they would have just got a couple of wins in that in the first couple of games, they'd probably be in first place. They are instead they're in third, but it, it's it's still April now, and, I, and I'm still not a believer in this team to be honest with you. Right now, it's a good stretch. I was at the game yesterday. Uh, I was texting with Bob Usler, and he was he was telling me, "Hey, listen, Bob, you're wrong about this team. This is a good team." You got uh, Garrett is pitching lights out. Yeah, Garrett's pitching lights out. It's still Reed Garrett, right? So he struck out 17 of 31 hitters that he's faced. We've done the, the Mets have done this whole thing still with no J.D. Martinez, no Kodai Senga. Beatty's hitting over 300. He's got t- nine RBIs. You got Tyron Taylor is hitting three 340 with 10 RBIs and a home run. And since then, it's all turned around. Now, they go out west starting tomorrow. They got three games. You got Manaya, Manaya pitching tomorrow against Yamamoto. And Yamamoto, is, he's got to get a good start, right? He hasn't pitched well yet. He has a, a, a plus four ERA. He's one and one. He hasn't looked very good. The Dodgers are right there. They're 12 and nine. Not a bad start. Not a great start. But they're the best team in baseball on paper. And the Mets historically do not play well. Out on the West Coast. Uh, I always joke that the West Coast is where Mets seasons go to die. Now, listen, they got the, they got their the bearings under them, their feet under them. They played better. Let's see if they could do it. And let, let's be real with the Pirates. The Pirates w- w- are terrible in this series. Everything from not hustling down to first, throwing to the wrong base. You had the guy in right field spike the ball into the ground on a, on a sack fly. You had... The bullpen getting killed by the Mets hitters. You have the manager even pulling Jones in the second game, in the second game, the middle game of that series. I mean, he was pitching brilliantly. He's a 25, 26-year-old kid. He's, he's shutting the Mets down. The Mets couldn't touch him. He threw like 79 pitches, and they they had said earlier that they were going to keep him on an innings limit, and he was only pitching five, and you figured, okay, listen, they, they're going to blow right through that. No problem. He's only got 79 pitches, and they pull him out of the game. Immediately, balk, balks in a run. Uh, Chapman balks in a run. Chapman gets uh, ejected for arguing. He gives up a double. The Mets have the lead, and, and it's just over. The Pirates bullpen is very spotty. They had a rough three games here, and they've kind of come back down to earth after a fast start. And we'll talk to, to Mark Mancy about that tomorrow because he's our he's our pirate resident Pirates fan. And, you know, he was all – he was – he's been – gloating about this team since since the middle of the winter and now that the penguins are out of it the, the, this is what he's got so they, we, we'll give him a hard time tomorrow because they looked like a bad team they looked like a bad baseball team that didn't know what they were doing in these three games but give the Mets credit like I said they they, they jumped on the bullpen they beat the Royals two out of three they really could have swept the Royals too in that series but two out of three you'll take now you go out west and Let's see what they could do. They got the Dodgers. They got the Giants. You got Man- uh, Manaya, Budo, and Hauser are the three starters in L.A. for the Mets. You got a, It's a day game, 4 o'clock start here in the middle game of that series. And Budo, who's just been, I mean, he's been lights out. He's the real deal, it looks like. He's got an 075 ERA. Nobody can touch him. The bullpens come in. They pitched excellent. Diaz has looked good coming back. Hey, it's all coming up. It's all coming up good. And, and it looks like we might have a season, right? I'm Like I said, I'm not buying into it yet. I will buy into it. Maybe if they, they win four or five games on this road trip, that's asking a lot. I'd be happy with, with a three and three road trip. Come back home. You got the Cardinals, who are not a very good team. Stay in the race. Get it to the trade deadline. Hopefully, Uncle Steve brings us something back at the trade deadline and we can make a run. And maybe we can be the Arizona Diamondbacks. But that's way far down the line. It, you got to remember, it's still April. It's still April. And that gets me to my next point where everybody's all up in arms about the attendance and nobody's going to see this team. And and they, they, they've been under 20,000 in the last couple of days. Listen, I was there yesterday. It was cold. It was rainy. It was windy. It's not a nice day. April is not great weather. 
get good weather during the day. At night, especially in these night games, it is cold. People got better things to do. And then plus, if you're the, the regular beer can Joe fan, you coming into this season, you heard the Mets, oh, they, they got rid of everybody. They tried to rebuilding year. So you weren't expecting much anyway. Then they go 0-5. You tune out. They tuned out. I'm not tuning out. You're probably not tuning out. A lot of us, listen, we're going, we're watching either way. But the regular person who's not a diehard fan, they tuned out of this team. So they're not going right now. They keep winning. This is New York. They keep winning. They'll, they'll, they'll be there. They will fill the stadium and watch. if it, the, the weather's going to start to get better real quick. You're a couple weeks away now from real nice spring weather. The people will come. It's always bad attendance here in the, in the Northeast on in, in April, especially when the team's not supposed to be good. And they weren't good, right? They've only had two home stands. They've had now, what, uh, 12 home games. They were 0-5 to start, 1-6. and One of them was a doubleheader. Two games got rained out. One of them was opening day. Listen, calm down about the, the attendance. Yeah, there was 20,000 there yesterday. It was the middle of the week, a day game. It's too early in the, in the year for it to be camp day or anything like that. So don't worry about the fans. The Mets win. They're going to come, and they will fill the ballpark. But... I just don't know how long they could keep this up. J.D. Martinez, we still have no timetable on him. Last week, we heard he was going to join the team in, in L.A. That does, that's not going to happen now. Now you're looking at possibly at the next homestand against the, the Cardinals. As far as Kodai Senga goes, if they could ever get him back. I think it's, I still, I'm still sitting on July. You're going to see Kodai Senga because that's just the way. That's just the Mets way. He has had one setback already. He was throwing uh, tentatively, tentatively off a mound. The other day they showed it on the broadcast. I don't know. You know, I'm not a doctor, but if you ask me, it's uh, July. Probably July for both of them, to be honest with you. So, but hey, good start, right? You're over, they're over 500 to get over back over 500 after an 0 5 start this early in April is, is an accomplishment. It is because it's tough. They needed to go 10 and 3. There's still only two games over 500 at 10 and 3. So let's see if they can keep it up with the pitching. Manaya and Yamamoto tomorrow from Dodger Stadium out at 10 o'clock. Then at 4 o'clock the next day, you got Budo and then Hauser in the third game. And then it's off to San Francisco for three and then back home to face the Cardinals. So we'll see. If they keep winning, people will show. That's how it works here in New York. If you win, People will show. And why don't I believe in this team yet? <laughs> Listen, I don't believe in the Rangers. And they won, this, they won the President's Trophy. And they're playing a team, the Capitals, who, who needed all 82 games just to qualify for the playoffs. So I'm, gonna, I'm, a, glad, I'm, a, I'm a pessimist here. All right? So don't, don't look towards me. Because until this team is you know 20 games over 500, I'm probably still not going to believe. But they are 10 and 8. They're two games over 500. They've won 10 of 13 games. The pitching looks good. The hitting's coming around. Once we get Lindor swinging the bat and we get Martinez back and Senga, maybe we have a team this year. Maybe we have a good season, a nice, fun team, and something that can keep us through till the end of the season and through the summer. So Mets 10 and 8. They're coming off a sweep. Let's see what they can do out west. And they go to the, the Dodgers. It's not going to be easy. The Dodgers, best team in baseball on paper, have not lived up to it yet. They're asking questions out there. Let's see what they can do. Three in L.A., three in San Francisco, and then back home. The Mets playing good baseball.